this is going to be a video um, in my color cookbook of swatches of all my art products of the Windsor and Newton ink. And I'm just going to lay out the ones that I have here for you and you can see the swatches and you can watch them go in my color cookbook. So I just put the name up here. I'm just going to take a brush and swatch out each color for you. That is very bright. <laughs> These are almost neon. Um, this is 967 Scarlet. Next, I'm going to do orange. Next is Canary Yellow. I should probably make my swatches smaller because I plan to grow my ink. So I'm gonna put some over here maybe. I just don't know if it's gonna bleed through to the other side, which is my Twinkling H2O's. I don't want it to show through there. So when this dries, I will check the other side. So this is yellow. Canary yellow. I'm going from full strength into sort of fading it out a bit. I think I'm going to leave more room so that I can add more swatches down here because I'm gonna probably get some more of these. I'm not sure how much, how many there are, but this is Emerald. And I suppose I don't need the swatches to be that big. I just like them. I just like to see the colors. This is blue. This is a set I got where all these colors came. Just the color of the rainbow. Uh oh, I'm moving my camera, I think. The colors of the rainbow, basically. And then I just picked this up on sale. I've got the silver one to swatch. I've got another gold ink paint, so I'm not gonna, I don't need a gold one or anything. blue. I think there are actually quite a few of these. This is violet. It's got on my nail. I think it's going to stain my nail. This 
so beautiful. Such intense colors. I don't always want these intense colors though in my paintings, so it's gonna take me forever to use these up. Then I've got Nut Brown. And this one is pretty crazy. It absolutely reeks when you open the cap. And if you mix it into your water, the little sparkles, the little particles get all over uh, your brush and it's very, very chemically and it's almost oily. So you almost want to use this sparingly or do something different, use a different brush. Hmm, what should I do? I think I'm gonna use, oh, it stinks. Whoo! That is really smelly. I think I'm gonna use this. Oh no, what did I do? Oh, look what I did to my brush. Oh, hopefully that goes back. Okay, I'm gonna use this because I'm not gonna use my good sable with this chemical, so just to do a quickie swatch of this for you. And for my color cookbook, Silver. I'm gonna put it over here. It's very opaque, so there's no thinning it out or anything. See, it just goes into dry, sort of dry brush. Oh, absolutely stinks. It's thicker, a lot thicker. I mean, I'm sure there's must be metal in here or something. It's almost like acrylic paint. That's the silver. I'm gonna wipe this off somewhere else. It's almost oily, like. I wonder if there's a special way to deal with this ink. I should have looked that up for you guys, but maybe someone can leave it in a comment below if you know. Those are my Windsor and Newton inks. Let's see if they bled through. No, they didn't at all. And then, true to form, just like my other pages here, I just write the name at the top and then the number and the swatch name. I'm gonna do that here. And it's just a name on that one.
And there you have it. A page in my color cookbook of swatches for the Windsor and Newton inks. And this is a set I got, everything except the silver. I got this set for about $49, well it was $49.99 at Michael's in Canada, uh, but I used a 50% off coupon, so I got it for about $25. Thanks for watching.